All right, starting this video off with my genius idea. This is the idea. So one of my favorite shows is Impractical Jokers. And if you haven't seen the show, it's basically these four friends and they have earpieces and then they're in like public situations and then they tell each other what to say and do through the earpiece. And oftentimes it's presentation. I always found those the most funny when they're like giving presentations that the other guys made. So I was like, I wanna prank my dad and I thought of the presentation thing, but and lately since my dad's TikToks have done so well, we've had like a ton of meetings just with like production companies, food products that want my dad to be the face of it. So I'm gonna create a fake food product presentation. I think I'm gonna get an actor to pitch my dad on a sauce. I'm gonna make the presentation. I'm gonna have the presentation be completely ridiculous. I want the actor I hired to play a character that's like just very corporate, but sort of ignorant to like Asian culture. So he's saying things that are pretty much racist, but he doesn't even know it. Like he's not actually a racist guy. He's just sort of like ignorant to an Asian culture. And hopefully my dad will have a good reaction. First step is to make the presentation. Oh, and also for everyone asking about these hoodies I'm making, these charcoal zips, this is just the sample. I'm gonna do a giveaway for it. So these beanies as well, you can see, mute, mute. All you have to do is follow the mute TikTok account because I'm gonna start making content on there. Um, I'll select a random winner that's following the TikTok account and then I'll message you on TikTok. These beanies and three different colors, as you can see here in this hoodie, should be during February. So all the TikTok, if you want a chance to win one of these hoodies, super high quality. Drop shoulder zip. Hopefully this presentation goes well. Hopefully we can pull this prank off. My apologies for not uploading that much. This month I'm going back to my Sunday schedule. Just sort of took a break as I did a lot of stuff during December and so I'm excited for that. Can you hear me? Hey man, yeah, how's it going? Good, how are you? So this is Dakota Shane's, an actor I found on backstage who said he'd be totally down to prank my dad. So he's going to be pretending to be the head of marketing for Food Labs, a company I made up that claims to manufacture all these different types of food products. And he's going to be pitching my dad to be the face of one of their new sauces. So here I ran through a rehearsal with him really quickly, just to make sure we had the sound and everything down with the presentation I made. And the thing is, Dakota's going to be playing a character who's super ignorant to Asian culture, specifically Chinese culture, which of course I'm half and my dad is full Chinese. I made the presentation myself personally, so so it's gonna be super funny and hopefully we get a funny reaction from my dad. I have everything set up. Zoom meetings ready. Secret camera right there. My dad's coming over soon. I'm so nervous. So basically this company emailed me that already makes sure makes products. Yeah. So they have like a factory and they make all these other products and stuff. So I'm just waiting for him. Oh, and what, what's it called if they don't want to do sauces with you? Or? No, they want to make a sauce for you, but they like would do everything. Like they handle the production. Oh, okay. Like they already Use make- Use my name, yeah. our name, whatever. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, how's hey, it going? Hi. Hello, how's it going, Susur? Oh, I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. Hi, yes, with this weather, and as long as the sun comes out, I'm happy. What part Thanks. of the world are you? My office is in Nashville, but our headquarters are in Austin. So I'm kind of okay. like back and forth all the time. I just learned, uh, you know, Jed just told me, uh, you know, uh, what's in your mind uh, about sauces. I like literally like two minutes ago. So oh. I'm very fresh off. I have no idea that what the conversation about. Um, so let me just share my screen really quickly. So first off, uh, again, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. We're huge fans over here at Food Lab. We're a huge fans of Iron Chef Canada. We know you're on Chopped Canada now as a judge. We think that's really awesome. Um, and we know that you've you spent years building this, this personal brand. So who are we? We are Food Lab. We are a sauce and seasoning manufacturer based in Austin, Texas, um, just down the road from Dallas, you know, the, the heart of Texas. Uh, we started over in 2007, so we're about 15 years old. But in just those 15 years, we just created over 400 different products. Um, and we're in, I think it's 27 countries now. Um, so we're, we're a global brand. Um, and uh, we've worked with a lot of Chinese people, um, and there are a lot of you. So um, we, we do have uh, products in China, we've got products in Japan, we've got products uh, in Europe, and we're expanding to South America later this year. Um, and one thing that is really important at Food Lab is authenticity. We want your authenticity. We know you've worked hard on your brand, and the sauce will be rooted in your Asian background. This is 100% conceptual at this point, obviously. We have no idea what the sauce would taste like um, because we, the last thing we would want to do is contaminate your image in any way because we know you've worked so hard to craft it. Brand marketing concepts. So um, our marketing team spent a lot of time on this, developing this. We, we wanted it to be something subtle, but also something unique to the Asian culture. We're gonna call it Panda Sauce. We've got the China flag right there. It's gonna be on the back of the wrapper. 
Um, we've got a, a subtle uh, Chinese garb for you. Um, we're thinking of different ways to market this product. One thing we're thinking is maybe a free fortune cookie with every order. We would obviously give you a final say on what promotions we would use with this too, because um, obviously you're a savvy businessman yourself. And then we also want a cute panda mascot to appeal to the younger generation. Everybody loves panda. It's kind of a staple that you associate with China. So we would put that on because we want the kids going down the aisle to be able to point this out to their parents and say, mom, dad, we want some of that panda sauce. How, how do we get paid, right? <laughs> Manufacturing, we're going to take care of all the supply chain logistical issues. You're not going to be staying up at night with headaches like that. But if you get sued, we can't do anything. Um, so um, some of the things we're thinking about expanding in the future um, Sorry, into dumpling. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, what was the part before? Uh, can you go back to... <laughs> But if you get sued, we can't do anything. Um, what, what does it mean? Right. So um, because you are the face of the brand, so you the, the legal action would actually be on you. But that like almost never happens. So it, it won't it shouldn't be an issue. Mm -hmm. Understood. So we're going to start off with the sauce um, in the future. Um, one of the products that we thought might be a good future product would be uh, Sucher's Fresh Dumps um, because we, we love dumplings. We know that our, our market research team has done some studies and we found that dumplings are rate very highly in our test markets. And then lastly, Sushir's Haya fried rice. Um, again, it was something we wanted to be subtle. It was something that we thought uh, rated very highly in our test markets. And we were, these are just, again, just ideas we're bouncing off the wall. Obviously you would have final say on any of this. So with that being said, uh, us at Food Lab are really excited to talk to you. What are your thoughts? Do you have any questions? What I find right now, just my in, in reaction is, uh, it's kind of very stereotyping and kind of joking, mm -hmm. jokingly. Uh, you know, of course, in the humor, it's always sells. When people like think about it's funny, it's happy. Uh, what makes you think that uh, Asian American or Canadian or even Chinese would find that uh, approach would be appropriate? Right. So humor is one of the things that we wanted to channel through our marketplace. And one of the things that we found in our test, and this is all just test research, this, this mm -hmm. is coming from the data that we pulled, um, is that humor sells across culture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have too many questions. Uh, now I'm just thinking in, uh, yeah. Well, you can send us an email with all the logistics, like in paper. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get you all the information, something something you can look over. No need to make a decision today. We're just glad that you took the time to talk to us. Thank all you for thinking of us. Really appreciate it. Yeah, y'all yeah. both have a great day. And um, I, I'm sure we'll you, we'll see y'all in the headlines again soon. We're, we're big fans <laughs> cool. of Jed on TikTok as well. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he does a, a good job. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Capture those photographs too. What is it? Do you think it's racist almost? Fucking racist. Come on. I mean, who's that? <laughs> like making fun of the. What's what's how, fi, uh, fried rice? Haya. Haya. <laughs> oh my god. Haya fried rice and dump. Oh yeah. She says dump. dump. <laughs> I think he doesn't know it's racist. He just. Okay. I don't know how fucking stupid would he not know. Come on. He's in his early 30s, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what would else? you like some with scissor the dump with, that? <laughs> with the hat? Nice and, hat. Yeah, what was the sauce? Panda, Panda sauce. sauce. Scissor dump. <laughs> Haya fried rice. I know there's humor. Humor is important, but not Haya fried rice. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think of that? Haya <laughs> fried <laughs> You know what Hai is, right? Hai means cut in Chinese. It could be like Haya is like cut fried rice. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got dump, Susa's dump. <laughs> <laughs> so so eating shit. Yeah, it's like she's eating Susa's dump. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Panda is such a very friendly approach for young That's people. Free fortune cookie with every <laughs> order. <laughs> <laughs> you oh my god, that is fucking ridiculous. Okay, how Wait, Dad, can I tell you something? Huh? Can I tell you something? Yeah. I made I made the presentation that that was an actor I hired. No. Really. Yeah. No fucking way! Yeah. Jet! No, you did not! I thought the presentation was so racist and stupid. You hired somebody to do that? Yeah. No, you did not. Yes. No, right. no, no. Jet, no. Yes. 
Okay, I already want to confirm this. This is a f***ing prank, my god. Did you think it's a prank at all at one point? Oh my god! <laughs> Who is this guy then? He's an actor. Oh my god, you are f***ing good, man. <laughs> okay. Hiya fried rice, <laughs> come on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, I got a... Hey. That was good. Oh my god. I Hiya fried rice. <laughs> oh, I love it. Susan's dump. <laughs> You're a true actor, you know? You are a true shit, man. So I got you? Fuck, you got me. Oh my god.